and this one to Liz. Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Taliska EAFC 24 player review. Team of the week card, 84 rated right midfielder, um, 6 foot tall, medium low on the work rates, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, left footed and controlled on a work type, 27 cow paid for him. He always seems to get a team of the week very early on in FIFA's and EAFC 24 now. Um, just showing you there that he can also play in cam, centre forward and right wing as well. So some really good positions um, and obviously Saudi League and uh, Brazilian but yes yeah, so a lot of positions that he can play there um, and then he has got the 83 pace which is fantastic 87 acceleration um, 87 shooting 90 shot power 86 finishing just outstanding shooting um, to be honest across the ball just volleys and penalties are a little bit low um, 80 passing again really really good 89 free kick accuracy you want him over a dead ball um, and 84 dribbling really strange on the agility and balance there normally they're quite close to each other and um, they're very far off on him uh, 87 ball control they're really nice 83 hidden accuracy is also very very good um, and then the 77 physical 79 strength nice I mean that's a, a very solid card 85 jumping to go along with that hidden accuracy really good for crosses I think corners and crosses are a lot more powerful on this game than what they have been previously so the hidden is quite an important um, feature so He's got some um, some of the attributes here, um, so we're just having a quick look. So what we've got, we've got the uh, the finesse. So we do the finesse shots, which is good. Um, increased accuracy and uh, curve, which is always going to be a good thing. Uh, we definitely want some uh, some good finesse shots um, going in with him. Uh, what else have we got there? So we've got the physical ones. Um, we've got the uh, the. Obviously, it's the outside of the foot shot, um, and then we've got the acrobat play style as well with the uh, overheads and the volleys and all that sort of thing. So, some good um, play styles on him as well. So, let's get into some gameplay. So, we've got him playing here. Um, there he is, I mean, on the ball. Um, he's we got the blonde hair. Um, you can't really see it on the pictures. I, I always thought that he was bald, I'll be honest. I never knew that he had blonde hair until this game. Um, I've done reviews on him previously on uh, like FIFA 23 um, on old Team of the Week cards, and I never even noticed that he wasn't bald. I don't know why um, it's just always been something that I've thought so um, anyway enough about his uh, physical appearance let's get into his actual gameplay so this is I think the third game that I played with him played a few uh, played five games with every player before given the overall verdict as I always say on these videos um, I think this is the third game he's done okay for me in previous games um, but this one was really one that he stood out in so I thought let's show this one uh, rather than ones where he did okay um, so again I mean it's quite hard to link Saudi League is you know there's a lot of players there now um, they don't tend to have the best cards because most of them are a little bit older um, and you know with uh, FIFA EA um, in general they like to give older players low pace which makes it a bit difficult obviously Ronaldo being the sort of prime example this year where they've they've completely nerfed him um, but yeah still not the worst league um, and he is Brazilian as well so he does get the Brazilian links so it's not the hardest player to get in um, to your squad but you know I mean it's not sort of meta with the Prem La Liga you know the big big uh, leagues um, but still not not too bad and I mean his price point is quite good as well at 27k I mean that's not much is it to be honest um, if you did want him in your squad his stats definitely lend to 27k so let's see if we can get him into the game a little bit um, he's sort of through the middle there for some weird reason um, I mean he's a left mid um, I mean well he can play in multiple positions but he comes um, I, I think Cam would be my preferred position which he seems to be slotting into now anyway um, decent pass and we've got him on the over lap and unfortunately just couldn't get the ball under control maybe that was me maybe I should have pressed uh, shoot a little bit quicker uh, but nonetheless I mean he, he made a good run which is a good thing anyway it's a good sign um, there he is again in really advanced positions in the center which you know I'm not going to complain about we want to see him at his best see his shooting because he has got ridiculously good shooting um, according to the stats on the card anyway so we definitely want to see that and he's got four star weak foot so look at that great touch great finish on his stronger foot left foot and it goes one nil up and it is uh, Taliska that gets us to go I mean that's just exactly what you're wanting just drifts away using his pace drifts away from a defender and puts the ball in the back of the net that is literally 101 what you want in an attacking player and he's just displayed that all in one go so exactly um, exactly what I'm wanting from a player and every single time I swear to God on this game whenever I go 1-0 up I let a goal in and it's Torres I have never seen that card um, not on not on EAFC 24 I don't really recall it ever seeing it on FIFA 23 either I'll be honest any Torres cards um, but yeah 1-1 I guess uh, I don't really see many icon cards in general other than loans on this um, just yet so he's done well he must have packed him really 
really weird um, good pass to himself there this goal was fantastic look at that finish fantastic finish after really good dribbling passed it technically to himself it seemed like I did actually try and pass it but no one picked up on it so I will take it because it did lead to a goal and uh, yeah it was absolutely fantastic um, really really solid finish not entirely sure how the <laughs> how the ref can give a foul there um, but yeah we'll we're not going to complain too much. It is still 2-1 um, unless he scores from this, which he's not going to. There is Taliska up there making a run. Nothing's going to really come of this. So let's get into the actual uh, in-games again here. So, I mean, 83 pace for me. Felt every bit of 83 pace. He felt really, really fast. Felt really good. Uh, maybe even a little increase to 84, 85. 87 shooting, absolutely. Really, really solid shooting. 87 shooting is fantastic. Um, and it felt really, really, really good. It's just the volleys and penalties are letting that down from being a little bit higher on the actual card. But 87 I think is fair 80 passing I didn't really notice passing too much you could probably increase it slightly but I, don't, I think I'll stick with 80 but the dribbling at 84 I'm going to increase to an 86 his dribbling felt really good I didn't really notice the lack of balance on there um yeah, really, really solid. Just all-round dribbling. Able to drift away from opponents very, very nicely. Um, so, yeah, I will, I will actually increase the dribbling. Um, maybe that's where you put a point to increase with the chemistry style. Um, the dribbling passing. I would, I'd say that they're the key points to, to really look for for a chemistry style for this guy. Just to increase that balance a little bit and increase the short passing, to be honest. Um, defending at 56, you know, he's more of an attacking player anyway. Right mid cam, that sort of area. Um I wouldn't really worry about defending with this guy. And the head and accuracy, I didn't really get to test out, to be honest. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have. But uh, yeah, I can't really comment, so I'm not going to actually increase or decrease anything there. Physical at 77, I didn't notice that his strength felt weak. Um, I've just recently done a review on Sal. Um, he had 80 physical, and I felt like this guy was stronger. So I'm going to have to increase the um, the strength up to about an 82 in general, and that probably brings the physical up to about 79, 80. Really, really good all-round player. I mean, if you've got a Saudi league, you are definitely wanting this guy in your team. He's got to be the best right mid, best cam that you can actually fit into your team for a affordable price really fun to play with and he's a Saudi legend he, he really is he's been in the Saudi league he kind of started it all I feel like um, he was in it for last season really really solid very fun card to play with and I can't recommend him enough for the price point so hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and there will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC 24 player reviews as always guys thank you for watching bye bye